Tomorrow on Home and Family, actress Gabby Douglas from Hallmark Channel's Love, of course, is joining us. Plus, Cameron is showing us his favorite apps to ease the hassles of holiday travel. It's funny going from that photo into our next segment, but we're going to do it. Here we go. Welcome back, everybody. Here with a story about turning loss into action is the creator of the Belusia Foundation and Operation Goldie. Please welcome the amazing Sal Valdepena and our pet rescue expert, also amazing, yeah, Larissa. Welcome, God. Both of you guys. Amazing. Now, let me tell you something. <laughs> you both do such incredible work. Now, Larissa, we're learning a lot here. And one of the things that we take from you each and every yeah. single day from the pet rescue world is that everyone out there, everyone yeah. can do something. Yes, exactly. There are so many different avenues in the rescue world. It is a community, and they say it takes right. a village. Right. It takes a village. Well, Everybody does their part, and without one, the others couldn't survive. Mm. And Sal started Belusia Foundation, and what he does is he goes into the shelters daily all over the country, or excuse me, the state, and takes out medical case dogs. These are dogs oh. that have extreme oh medical God. issues, loss of limbs, oh neurological, boy. cancer, and most rescues can't afford to do that. And he single-handedly created something so amazing, mm -hmm. so I'm glad you're here to Thank share. Thank you for having me. He would have taken our little doggy today I out of the know, shelter. I know, I oh. know. Mm -hmm. so, so this big passion of yours was actually launched by a very little, little munchkin <laughs> named Bailey Belugia. Tell yeah. us about Bailey. Uh, Bailey Belugia was a three-pound silky terrier that uh, we rescued from, not, I don't want to say neglect, but he wasn't having the life that he should have had. So we rescued him. He was neurological. He had epilepsy, developmentally delayed. Uh, we strongly believe he was inbred. So he suffered a lot in the sense of those problems, but he was loved a lot as well. So that's oh. what got me into oh, animal rescue. And tell us about him. You really, he, he passed, didn't he? He, he passed, but when he passed, it was uh, a time where I knew as his dad that I had to let go. But he, during the six years that I had him, boy, did that boy live. Like yeah. he, so yeah, that's. And, and you made a promise. You did as he was passing away. Didn't tell us about the promise you made. I made a promise to him because every night before we would go to bed, we would do the little, you know, shake. And I would tell him, if you don't give up, I don't give up. If you fight, I fight. So the day that I let him go, I told him I wasn't giving up, but it was me loving him so much that I had to, you know, oh. so that was kind of, oh. yeah. That's an amazing. It was tough. But Definitely. He, he's what made you help others. Yes. Right. He right. inspired you to do all yeah. the things that you've done, and you right. certainly uh, kept true to the promise that you made right. to little Bailey. I mean, you've helped uh, just so many medically challenged uh, animals, but... And you've really kept many of them alive, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. So, but is there is there one in particular that stands out for you, or a few that stand out to you? Uh, we had a poodle by the name of Susie that we were contacted by uh, the ASPCA. Yeah. And yeah, that's Benny. Susie. Um, yeah. She was in horrendous, horrendous condition. Um, she had a severe skin infection, mm. and we were able to find a foster. Uh, we covered the medical. We got her cleaned up, sparkling. Uh, mm -hmm. She's living with her foster family now. She's doing amazing. <laughs> no. She runs, she plays. When we first got her, she couldn't even walk because the mats were so bad on her. But now she runs, she plays, she jumps. She's literally living the dream. And how old was she when she was turned into the show? Uh, she was a senior. We believe she's 10 years old. And her family actually turned her in because she was in such bad shape mm -hmm. that they didn't want right. to take care of it. Right. So and they just said, just put her down. Kills me a yeah. little bit. Yeah, and wow. that's why somebody yes. like Sal, who goes yeah. in and literally swoops up these cases mm -hmm. because he made a promise to his Bailey, Bailey yeah. that he yeah. would never let another mm -hmm. special needs animal suffer. That's what we and do. It's just full circle, and it's yeah. amazing. Bailey's memory alive. That's so sweet. It's, Bailey knows. I think it helps us heal, too, you know, keeping his memory alive, for me, anyway. That's true. Yeah. But I know something else that Sal does is super impressive to you, Larissa, because we've talked about this time and time again. And you have taken things to shelters to keep them cool. And he does something that is, is, is cool, literally, and figuratively. <laughs> he yeah. puts me to shame. I show up with a, a block of ice. He shows up with coolers. Now, this is something that is so cool. And, yeah. Sal, you deserve a big shout-out for this. Thank Part you. of Belugia's foundation right. goes into shelters in L.A., although it's now grown to Imperial Valley and different areas of the Amazing. state. Yeah. And brings uh, industrial fans. And this all started because of a dog named Goldie, who right. you were going to yeah. take out of the shelter and save. And right. the next day, when you went to pick her up, she had passed because of the heat. Yeah. And so yeah. that spurred you to oh, do this. God. And and you can tell it better, but look how well, Amazing. Fan. Those are the fans that, um, those fans are in Imperial County um, at the El Centro shelter, which is about 20 minutes from the Mexican border. 
uh, they don't really get a lot of help out there. So we um, partnered with a company out of Texas, and they donated a whole sh truck, the diesel trucks, of wow. uh, fans. So we were able to help all the shelters in LA County and Imperial County and some in other areas. And you yeah. had no idea it was going to be so big. You were no. just trying to get a few fans, right. and you started raising money, and then literally you got truckloads of fans. amazing. We yeah. got fans, and this year we actually got air conditioning for not just L.A. County, but we were able to work with another company, and we got air conditioning for almost and a lot of the shelters in uh, the Central Valley as well. Aww. Yeah. That's for you. I think right, because it's for you. So, so and maybe you're at home watching and getting inspired by the stories that Sal's telling here, but what would you say to people out there that are inspired and moved by your story, but maybe they don't know how they can help? What would you say to them? I think the easiest thing to get involved in animal rescue, if you don't have a lot of time, visit your local shelter, snap a photo of a dog, upload it, uh, sorry, upload it to Facebook, yeah. um, and Network it. That one picture can save that dog's life. So, so true. true. And yeah. anybody can do that. Right. And go, walking into a shelter if you've never been is a is an experience in itself and will probably spur you to do more as well. Yes, yes. it's true. You want to take every single one home. You do. That's what you happens. Do. Yes. And like we said at the beginning, uh, of, you know, when we started sitting down to talk to you, is that everyone out there can do something. And this is just an indication of another aspect of animal rescue that we can all participate and in. Just anything you can do. Lisa. I have to say one thing as Please. well. I asked you how you pay for all this. He has two jobs and gets donations, and that's just going to show his love of animals and helping yeah, because promise. of Bailey and because of your promise. Yeah. I mean, I, I have to be so, I'm so honored that we're on a show where we can showcase people yeah. like you. Thank, Thank you. you so much Thank for you. everything Thank you, you. Really, you are Thank phenomenal. You. Thank you. And you, Larissa, too. I mean, of my course. goodness. Thank you. Thank you. For more information on Sal and his Belusia Foundation, make sure you check them out online at belusiasfoundation.com. And you guys stick around because up next, Good Witch star Bailey Madison, who loves dogs, by the way, is filling us in on the highly anticipated two-hour Halloween special. Come on back, everyone. <laughs>